behind it all were some of the best known stars of Australian rock and roll. Their aim to rock and roll against ocean pollution. Whoa! The Turn Back the Tide concert proved to be an overwhelming success as reporter Morris Parker discovered. It was the day the stars played for free and Good Friday was turned into one of the noisiest on record. Bondi Beach and the Turn Back the Tide concert urged the public to clean up our beaches. It's just like Woodstock, except less rain. It's, it's very fantastic. true. It's a protest, though, Murray. Of course, uh, we, haven't, we, we haven't been to the toilet for four weeks, four either weeks. of us. It's time that the people of Sydney got together and did something about it. And this is hopefully what we're trying to do here. With any luck, it'll raise some money and put some pressure on the guys that can really do something about this. For the first time ever, all major radio stations joined forces to promote the special event. I really don't think that, uh, that anything will ever top this as far as billing a number of people in an open-air concert. By mid-afternoon, well over 100,000 people had gathered here at Bondi Beach. And the weather, well, it's still holding. By the end of the concert, at 6 o'clock, they hope to have raised over $80,000. I think the most important thing is follow, of course, our direction. Neither of us have been in the toilet for four weeks, and I think it shows, right? And wherever you are watching us, uh, right guys, around us... hold it. It was no. my story for Saturday morning live. Oh, right, I'm right. meant to do the tag, we'll remember? Throw it back to us. Throw it back to us. Okay, now, now back to Jono and Dano in the studio. We are like, Parker for Saturday you. morning live here at Bondi in beautiful Sydney. Well, not so much beautiful water, was it, really? Did you donate? I donated. What did you donate? I donated. There's no answer to that. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Everybody was having a pretty good time there. Yeah, and it? thanks to Maury Parker, and also thanks to the record companies involved, the three radio stations, Triple J, Today FM, and Triple M, who all got together. It's the first yeah. time that three radio stations promoted one gig, and also all the people that turned up. And don't forget, wherever you are in Australia, if, if you've got a problem in your neighbourhood, in your area, maybe you should organise a turn back the tide. Yeah, it's amazing what you can do when you all get together on it. There's a, a lot more work to do, though.